Hey guys, it's Wick. Uh, welcome to the skill books video. Uh, again, I know a lot of this stuff is pretty basic, but it just, you know, there's a lot of new people in the game and I was months into this game before I discovered how skill books work. So I just figured I'd try to walk people through it. So everybody knows how skill books work. There's different types of skill books. You have a general, um, you know, you pick the skills, you got the military type development subsidy, but Oftentimes people don't understand that uh, I see people with purple and orange books and they don't have any level fours, but there's ways to create them. And we'll talk about how you actually make sure you don't, you're not wasteful whenever you do them. So essentially when it comes down to skill books, um, the best way to actually look at skill books is that you really only should have purple or red. Yellow and orange, level two and three, are pretty much completely worthless. And um, the easiest way to actually see that is to actually understand how they work and how you equip them. So first of all, when you're talking about skill books, you have different types of skill books that are useful and useless. Um, you know, there's ones that you only want a few against, range, HP. The monster skill books aren't useful uh, outside of maybe having a couple uh, siege uh, attack against monsters really almost worthless uh, unless you have monster numbers and monster marches um, and the sub cities uh, a lot of them are useless uh, especially at the higher levels so the important thing to understand in terms of skill books is you can disassemble and should be disassembling um, different the level twos and threes right off the bat you don't need those they're not the best books you want everybody should have a level four book on every best general so you can disassemble them and get the skill book pages, right? Just like I'm doing here. Don't need any of these. And then even if you have massive numbers on, I mean, 111 skill, level one skill books, you're never going to use all that. You can get rid of, I usually try to keep around 50 of each skill book. Uh, so I know I always have plenty if you get really unlucky when placing them. But uh, I mean, gold production, no, I don't need 97 of those. I'll take those all the way down to like 10 if I need to. Uh, but I've got plenty, but I'm doing this for for purposes of the video. So when you get to all the pages that you get from deconstructing, here they are, the ones that I just decomposed. Ten skill book pages makes a level four book. So that's 22 books right here, level four skill book chests. Boom. All right? You get to open these. They're random, what you're going to get, but they're all level fours. So if you have tons of level twos and threes, decompose them, and tons of level ones, decompose them. Make your level fours. Now, when using them, the important way to understand how they work is they replace each other at random. So let's just say uh, this is a duty gen. So I don't really, I don't put skill books on my duty gen. They're useless, but I'm going to use them for this, for purposes of this video. Let's just say, uh, actually, you know what? I have a wall gen that I wanted to put them on. Let's see. Oda Uichi here is new and she has no skill books, I don't think. Let's see. Odoichi has, where are you? She's here somewhere. There it is. No skill books, and she's a wall general that helps ground. So let's just say when I put her on, I want my ground wall general books on, which outside of ground troops HP, which she buffs naturally, I'd want to put attack, ground troop attack, ground troop defense, and ground troop speed. So when you pick your skill books, you always want to pick blue first. Right, so ground troop attack. The first one's always going to go and take one of the three empty spaces. Here you go. Next up, we want ground troop defense. Let's see if I get a little lucky here with ground troop speed is the other one. Ground troop speed. It is replace ground troop attack. So now I'm going to replace a ground troop attack again and maybe get lucky and pick up an empty spot. Nope. Unlucky and replace the book. And this goes on and you replace these books, which are worth one page deconstructed over and over again until now see that time it went through picked up an empty space ground troop attack ground troop speed and of course this one's ground troop defense now if you're feeling lucky nope replace ground troop attack and you do this until you get lucky and all three spots are taken up no nope, ground troop defense you just play this game where you just replace the one that got replaced you know the good old ebony two-step make you you know why spend one when you can spend eight um, so ground troop defense and speed, and we need ground troop attack. There we go. Oh, nope. 
You do this all day long until eventually, there you go. Now that I've got all three books that I didn't waste any level fours, which are worth 10 skill book pages, into these slots, I've got all the three that I want. Now, when you replace that same identical skill book with its level four, it will be replaced by its level four. Ground Troop Attack will replace Ground Troop Attack. Ground Troop uh, Speed will replace Ground Troop Speed, level four. And Ground Troop Defense will replace Ground Troop Defense. Boom. Done. Least amount of wasted pages, all maxed out level four books. Hope this helps. Any questions, always hit me up.